I'm going to have a look at June 2013 question 8. Find the range of values for which this equation has two distinct real roots. Whenever you see real roots that tells you discriminant is greater than 0. So b squared minus 4 times a times c is greater than 0. So just pick out um, your a and your b and your c. So a is k minus 1, b is minus k plus 3 and c is minus 1. So b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. b squared minus squared becomes positive. k plus 3 squared minus 4 times a times c. So a minus times a minus just becomes a plus. To square out a bracket the quick way, square the first term, square the last term and double the product. So the product is 3k, double it, 6k. Expand out this bracket, 4k minus 4 greater than 0. Quadratic inequality, um, all terms on one side and tidy them up. k squared plus 10k, 9 take away 4 is 5. Uh, you're looking for, to see if you can factorise that, no numbers multiply to give 5 and add to give 10. So we'll use the quadratic formula to help us solve this. So um, first of all, we're going again, a is 1. B is 10, C is 5. So instead of having X equals, it's K equals. K equals minus B plus minus the square root of B squared minus 4 times A times C all over 2A. So K is minus 10 plus or minus the square root. 100 take away 20 is 80 over 2. Now I would break that down. So K equals minus 10 plus or minus. Uh, um, you can divide that by, well, I, the most obvious square number goes into that's a 4. So 4 goes into that 20 times over 2. So that's minus 10 plus or minus 2 root 20 over 2. Divide both of these by 2. So it's minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 20. Square root of 20 breaks down as well into the square root of 4 and the square root of 5. Giving you minus 5 plus or minus 2 root 5. Those are your critical values. So when you're drawing out your wee graph, you have minus 5 minus 2 root 5 and minus 5 plus 2 root 5. It's a positive k squared, so it's a U-shaped graph. You want where the graph is above 0, here and here, so your answers are k less than minus 5 minus 2 root 5 or K greater than minus 5, add 2 root 5. We'll look at it from January 13, question 8. It's a square garage door of length X is surrounded on three sides by brickwork. The brickwork is 1.5 wide on each side of the door and 2 metres above the door. X, X plus 3 is the whole dimension there, and X in the whole dimension is X plus 2. In order to meet the building regulations, the area of the brickwork must be more than twice the area of the garage door. So if I um, find the area of the brickwork, which is uh, this here length that I said before is x plus 3, and there we want and there's x. The total length is going to be x plus 2, and this here length here is x. So the brickwork is the big rectangle x plus 3, x plus 2, minus the garage door. So that's the brickwork. Now you're told the brickwork must be more than twice the door. So this here brickwork expression, I could just tidy it up here. x squared plus 2x plus 3x is 5x plus 6 minus x squared. So that tidies up to give you 5x plus 6. So the brickwork must be more than twice the garage door. Quadratic, put everything on one side. Um, minus 2x squared, add 5x, add 6 greater than 0. I would change all the signs just to give myself a positive x squared. What well, multiplies to give 6? Sorry, uh, it's not a simple quadratic. It's a harder one because it's got 2x. So have we look and see if we can do this first. 2x squared is 2x and then x. Um, we'll try a 3 and a 2. 3 times 2 gives you 6. Outside is 4, inside is 3. doesn't give me 5. Try it the other way around. A 2 and a 3. Outside is 6, inside is 2. It doesn't give me a 5. Try a 6 and a 1. 
two and six doesn't give me a five. So that doesn't factorise, we just use your quadratic formula in here. So a is two, b is minus five, c is minus six. You need to use this to find the critical values, to find what crosses the axis to determine what part of the graph is under zero. So um, x equals minus b minus minus five plus minus the square root of b squared minus four times a times c. Because it's a negative six, I just change that all over 2a. So x equals 5 plus minus the square root. Um, 2 times 6 is 12. Add 4, oh, sorry, times by 4 is 48. 48 add on to that is 73. All over so that means where it crosses the axes is 5 plus root 73 over 4 and 5 minus root 73 over 4. It was from up here, sorry. Is a positive x squared graph, so it's a u-shaped one. You want it where it's under zero, you want it in here. So going on the graph, your x value has to lie between these two values. But your x value is the size of the garage door. It doesn't make sense to have a negative size of a garage door, so you'll rewrite that as not less than x less than 5 plus root 73 over a question from June 2012, question 8 curve has got this equation. A second curve has got that equation. The curves do not meet. Now, whenever you're talking about anything intersecting, whether it actually intersects or not, you put the, merge the two curves together or the two lines or whatever. Because I've got y equals and y equals, I can just put this y equals here, 5 plus mx minus x squared up there instead of y. So that's what I'm going to do first of all. 5 add mx minus x squared equals x squared minus 4x at 6. It's a quadratic equation, put everything on one side. So I'll move that over to x squared minus 4x minus mx. 6 minus 5 gives you 1. Now, so I could tie it up a little bit further. I could write that as 4 plus mx at 1. Now that would be the equation if they meet. You are told they do not meet. So that means this here has got no solution, no roots. So b squared minus 4ac is less than naught. Your a is 2. Your b is minus 4 plus m. And your c is 1. So putting that in, b squared minus squared becomes positive. 4 plus m squared minus 4 times a times c. Um, you could multiply this out uh, either the long way or the short way. I just go for the short way. Uh, square the first, square the last, and double the product. Minus 8, greater than that. Tidying it up. m squared plus 8m. 16 minus 8 is 8. What two numbers multiply to give 8 and add to give 8? There are none. So you're going to have to use quadratic formula yet again. So to get your critical values. So m equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. So b is minus 8 plus or minus the square root 64 minus 32 over 2. So m equals minus 8 plus or minus the square root of 32 over that. Uh, that breaks down square root of 32 the same as square root of 16 square root of 2. Square root of 16 breaks down into the, uh, 4 and a root 2. So that breaks down into minus 4 plus or minus 2 root 2. Make sure you're dividing through by the 2, you just divide your real numbers by the 2. That tells you the critical values, as in where it would cross the x-axis. So minus 4 minus 2 root 2, minus 4 plus 2 root 2. If you look up here, you've got a positive x squared or a positive m squared, so it's u shape. You want where it's under the axis, so this is where m is, so m is between these two values, and that is your question. Complete. The next one I want to look at is from January 2012, and it's question 5b. A rectangular mosaic tile has length x and breadth 6 minus x, so we'll draw that out. Length x and breadth 6 minus x, and you're told the area must be at least 5. So x times 6 minus x must be greater than or equal to 5, timesing that out. 
to be an equal to five. Everything on one side because it's a quadratic. Um, I would change all sides because you've got a negative x squared. Just makes it a little easier. Make sure you change your inequality as well. This one factorizes because minus five minus one multiplies to give five and adds to give minus six. Your critical values are five and one. It's a U-shaped curve because it's positive x squared. You want um, beneath the axes. So your value of x's are between 1 and 5. 